How to, how to make room. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use list in Rec Room. You know, the circuit list. For the longest time, I didn't know how to use these. I didn't want to know, but they can be helpful. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to use them too. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, pull out your maker pen. And we're going to want, we want a circuit board. I already have that pulled up here. So place that here. And you don't need to do this, but it helps keep uh, all the circuits nice and clean. In a handy little area. So we're going to configure that. And for this example, I'm just going to have it be picking a random audio. Like from the sound effects in Rec Room. Just a random sound effect. I'm just going to change it to... I'm just going to name it random. Or no, list I meant. Not random, excuse me. So we're just going to call this list, list. Okay. Submit. There we go. Now we're going to create a new function. What do we want the name to be? We'll have it be activate. So this is what we'll make it pull a random sound effect from there. We'll wire it up to a button. Inputs. Preview input. Activate. Create. There we go. So that's there. But now we also want an output that will output the random audio. So we're going to make an output. Audio. We'll just call it that. And we're going to make it audio, obviously. Create. There we go. Activate. And audio. So now we're going to edit into this. Okay. So now we need a list create. And this is what will create our list. Where is it? Was your list create? There we go. I'm just gonna place it right there. And now we also want just some random sound effects. Sound effects constant is what we're going to use. I'm going to add a couple more inputs on this. We'll do, let's say, five. Five random sound effects. So I'm just going to move that in my way. We're going to clone sound effects five times. Five. And you can use it for much more useful things. I just am using it for sound effects, just to, as an example for you guys. Now I just gotta choose what sound effects I want. Oh, I think we'll have... Amazing! You want beep? Here, I'll just scroll and click the first one. Okay. Neo! Someone eating cake. I'm laughing. And well, we already have that one. Let's do clunk. All right. Now we need a random from list. I believe it's called. Yep, we'll get that right up to there. Sorry, I don't know why it's... I'm just gonna scooch this. There we go. We'll get that right up. Activate like that. Okay. And then we're going to... We need one more um output in here. It will be an execute port. So outputs. Create a new output. Type another execute port. Create. There we go. 
and we'll just name it play because that's what's going to play our audio. Oh, I didn't rename it. Excuse me. There we go. Now we need a audio player to just to show that it works. We're gonna worry about play up here. An audio right there. And we're also gonna get a button. And this will choose a random sound effect to play every single time. Which I mean that's not very useful, but like I said, you can use it for lots of different stuff. Crest. Oh hang on. Did I not wire up wire it up in there? No, I did not. There we go. Okay. Yep. Just random sound effect every single time. Here. Let me set it to interrupt current so that it doesn't mess up. Interrupt current sound. There we go. <laughs> yep. Just a random sound effect every single time. Now, you can do it for lots of different things. Um, This is just what I was using to show you guys, so it's kind of a visual. Well, not visual. Audio, I suppose. <laughs> Since it's a sound effect, you can see that it's doing something different every time. But, yeah, I, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.